How to manage your part-time PhD is what today we are going to deal with. Now, so for example, I see many part-time PhD holders quit their PhD after five or six years or three to four years or nine to ten years or they remain dormant, they don't do anything and they quit at the end. I have seen these types of PhD holders like who are doing part-time PhD they are unable to complete their PhD at the end. Now why? How to manage it? This, this is very very important to manage your part-time PhD while doing your full-time job. Today I'm going to share with you some very very important points to alert you how to manage your part-time PhD. The first, do not be involved in your full-time work thinking that you must be dedicated and committed. Most of the time it happens so you are totally committed and dedicated to your current job and you are fully involved into that in such a way you just do not do what you're supposed to do with your part-time PhD. You are not researching, you are not writing papers, you are not doing work at all, you are not contacting your PhD supervisor, you are not at all touching your PhD course, subjects, research area in any way possible. This is the biggest mistake while doing your part-time PhD. Always remember to give primary preference. Always remember the responsibility. Always remember the what you have to do first and what you have to do last. I know you are committed and dedicated to your current job, but that does not should not cost your part-time PhD because your first aim is to complete your PhD successfully and settle down in your life. For that sake, your current job must not hinder. You have to even leave that current job and go to some other institute where you have free time to research if you are unable to do your part-time PhD with that current job. This is what my uh, risky decision, risky choice you must take. Always think of involving in part-time PhD and do not get involved in your current job. This is the first mistake that you have to rectify. Second, when you do part-time PhD, there is a chance that you have some kind of uh, differences some differences with your supervisor because you may not meet your supervisor regularly or your supervisor is not happy with you. Remember, always update yourself with your supervisor while doing your part-time PhD. Firstly, email regularly. Every day, even one paragraph of research, just email to your research supervisor or at least call once in a month, once uh, once in two weeks at least, along with email updation. So you have to do these things compulsorily. Otherwise, it so happens that your PhD supervisor starts hating you and at the end, your supervisor has to take different decision, no cooperation to you at all. And you will be disgusted and disappointed. This is the second probable, very common mistake many people could do and can do while doing your part-time PhD and you have to avoid this mistake to become that to taste that success of completing your part-time PhD in just four to five years and this if you can rectify second mistake this one you will be happy and what about third mistake while doing your part-time PhD there are many possibilities many many possibilities in such a way you are so much lazy to spend some money or lazy to do research either you have to do either you have to spend money or you have to do hard work and research you are not doing both of these things if you do work only then you can give you can be successful or else you take the help of others so that you have to pay money to them and <clears throat> take help of the professors and get work done. So do not be lazy. This is just the third mistake. 
to become lazy during your part time phd because nobody is observing you nobody is seeing you and nobody is bothering you nobody is asking you your research progress this must not happen dear friends so rectify these three important mistakes while doing your part time phd so that you can complete your phd in just 4 years or 5 years successfully and i wish you good luck in your part time phd course for more updates visit my website phdstudytips.com thank you